Hello guys, this is Karthik here from Testers Community. In this video, I'll show you how to create your first in-app product step by step. Plus, I'll also reveal one of the most common mistake developers make. A mistake that could cost you a lot of money. Before we dive in, I remember that Google Play takes a 15 to 30 percentage fee on in-app purchases. If you want to learn more about this, check out the video linked in the description. Alright, let's get started. Let's say we have a game where users can buy a bundle of 100 coins for $10. Now let's see how we can create such in-app product. First, come to your App Play Console dashboard and now click on the app in which you want to create this in-app product. And click on Monetize with Play, Products and In-app Products. Now, if you see an error that you need to add billing permission to your APK, it means that your current app bundle doesn't have this billing permission. You just need to add this permission or dependency in your code. I'll also link this article in the description so that you can add this dependency. After adding this dependency, you need to upload a new app bundle. After uploading it, you will see an interface like this. Now, click on Create Product. Now you need to enter a product ID. This product ID should be unique for all your products and standard way of naming this product ID is using your package name. Just enter your package name. Now at the end we just need to add some name for your in-app project. Now you just need to give a name and this name will be displayed whenever the user clicks on the buy button. It will be displayed in your Google Play payment page. Now add and description. Now it's time to set your price. You can set the price of your app either using a pricing template or you can set it directly. The advantage of using pricing template is that you can create a pricing template and multiple products can use the same pricing template. In that case, if you change price in this pricing template, all the products which are using this pricing template, for them the price will be changed. But for now, I'm just setting the price by clicking on this button. From here, you can set price for your product. Just enter some price. Based on the price you entered and based on the default currency, for all the countries, those prices will be updated based on their current exchange rates. You can also edit these changes manually for each country. Now, whenever a user from Austria want to buy your in-app product he will be seeing a combination of this price plus this tax so he will be seeing a total of around 12 euros and from that 12 euros google will separate the tax and from the remaining 10 it will take its fees and finally whenever it hits your bank account it will be around 8 to 8.5 euros based on the pricing tier you opted to now let me tell you one of the biggest mistakes developers make they don't update prices based on exchange rates. I know what you're thinking. This, this is what you mentioned as the biggest mistake. Yeah, let me explain you with a clear example on why this is so important. Let's say you are a developer from the USA and you set your in-app product price to $10. At that time, the exchange rate is $1 is equal to 100 rupees. So Indian users see 1000 rupees in the local currency. They buy it and after conversion, you get your full $10. But what happens after a year if the exchange rate changes? Now $1 is equal to 200 rupees. That means to get same $10, Indian users should be paying you 2000 rupees. But since Google Play does not automatically adjust prices and you didn't manually update them, the price is still shown as 1000 rupees. So after conversion, you only get $5 instead of 10. This means you are losing 50% of your earnings just because you didn't update the pricing. Hope you understood the issue. To solve this problem, you can regularly update prices like once in a month or once in two months using Google Play Console or using its API. 
but users hate seeing this constant changes in the pricing right to avoid this issue instead of displaying prices in local currency show a standard price like ten dollars for all users from all countries when users click the buy button then they'll see the new converted local prices in the google play payment pop-up then they can understand that the price change is due to exchange rate changes but not because of your price hope you got the point now let's continue with our video now after setting these prices up just click on the apply prices button now just scroll down here you can select if you want to allow the user to purchase more than one one item or to purchase multiple items of this product now click on manage settings here you need to select the category of your app if your app serves digital content or if your app comes under service if you don't know exactly what your app comes under just copy your app description and give it to some ai model and it can clearly tell you under which category your app comes under i am selecting it as a digital content and you also need to select whether it's a streaming product or not and just click on apply button now you just need to click on the save button congrats now you have created your first in-app product after creating this in-app product it's very important that you activate this product if you don't activate this whenever users click on buy button they won't see any pop-up of google play to pay money you can also deactivate this in-app product or you can also delete it from here what's next now you just need to integrate this product into your app using google play billing library or revenue cat if you want a detailed tutorial on how to integrate in-app purchases into your code just drop in comment below also don't forget to like and subscribe for more app development